In trying to simplify this number, we have 4 into 2x plus 3 divided by 5 is equal to 12 minus 4x. This is an algebraic equation that we are required to find the value of x. So of course with numbers like this we are having this as a fraction, this is not a fraction. So we make this also over 1 to make it also like a fraction. Then to make it a flat equation we cross multiply. By cross multiplication I mean that we are going to multiply this side by that and we are going to multiply this 5 by that term. So we begin. It begins, it goes on to, it follows that this times 1, of course, it will remain as 4 into 2x plus 3. It's going to be equal to 5. Multiply 5 by this, which is 12 minus 4x. You realize that we've been having fact we have factors. 4 is outside the brackets, and we are having an algebraic expression inside the brackets. We are having 5 here as a factor outside the bracket, and we are having an algebraic expression inside the bracket. So for us to be able to continue from here, we need to first open these brackets. Opening these brackets means that we multiply the term outside the bracket by everything that is inside. And so this time it means that it's going to be 4 times 2, which is going to be 8x, plus 4 times 3, which is 12, is giving us 5 times 12, which is 60. Uh, then 5 times negative 4x is giving us negative 20x. Then from there we collect like terms. Those that are having x be on one side, so meaning this negative 20x is supposed to cross this equal sign to come this way, and this 12 is supposed to go that way. So here, we're, this side we shall remain with 8x. This negative 20 upon crossing this equal sign to come this way be, will become a plus 20x. is going to give us, that is 60. Then this positive 12, when it crosses this equal sign, this positive becomes negative, so it becomes minus 12. And so here we shall remain with 28x, giving us 60 minus 12 to... We realize that as we've been doing this number, we encountered a new concept called opening brackets. We open these brackets to be able to proceed with the working. This video, therefore, is meant to explore how to open brackets. This is Kisembo Academy and thanks for tuning in. Now some of the algebraic expressions have what we call brackets, as we all see. These brackets simply show that the numbers inside the brackets have the factor outside the brackets. When you look at this illustration, we are having numbers inside the brackets and a number outside. These numbers that are outside the brackets are common factors to the expressions that are inside the bracket. Now, the process of placing the common factor of two or more terms inside the bracket is what we call factorization. We shall look at factorization in detail in a later video. But for now, we are going to look at how we open these brackets. Opening these brackets means that we are going to get this common factor that is outside and multiply it with everything that is inside. Let's explore a few examples. In our first example, we are being required to simplify 3 into brackets for a plus 2. So simplifying this means we are going to open brackets. When you open brackets, we get the number outside the brackets and multiply it by everything inside the brackets. So it's going to be 3 times 4 and also 3 times 2. So it means it's going to be 3 times 4a plus 3 times positive 2. And of course, 3 times 4 is 12a, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. That's it. We've opened brackets and we've simplified. And that's the answer. 2a plus 3 into a plus b. Now, if you look at here, it is this number, positive 3, that is outside the brackets. So, to simplify this, we have to first open these brackets. So, it's going to become 2a plus, we're supposed to multiply this 3 by that a, we multiply this 3 by that b. So it's going to be 3 times a plus 3 times b. And of course here we shall get 2a plus 3 times a is 3a plus 3 times b which is 3b. And of course now when we collect like terms, 
we add the like terms to so 2a plus 3b this gives us 5a plus 3b and that is our solution to that algebraic expression we have another expression x into 3 plus y minus z we open brackets still we are going to get this x outside term and multiply it with each and every term inside the bracket so it's going to be x times 3 then x times positive y then x times negative z so we shall end up this is going to be x times 3 plus x times y plus x times negative z and the answers we shall get here are this is 3x plus x times y is xy uh, then positive x times negative remember we say that a positive and a negative will give us a negative so it's going to give us minus xz so it's minus negative xz as our answer we've simplified it let's open this bracket here a times x and a into x plus 2m opening brackets here is going to mean it's a times x plus a times 2m now a times x is ax plus a times 2m is a2m whichever order you can call it 2am or a2m it doesn't matter and that's the answer then we have this other 4 times x plus y this is going to become we open brackets here it's 4 times x plus 4 times y then negative 2 times x is so we shall simply say it's plus negative 2 times x plus negative 2 times 2y negative 2 times 2y so we shall end up with 4 times x which is 4x 4 times y positive 4 times positive y is plus 4y then of course here it is negative 2 times x is going to give us negative 2x so it's minus 2x the negative 2 times 2y is giving us negative 4 the negative times the positive will give us a negative so it's going to give us negative 4y and of course from here we collect like terms those that are having the x variable we group them together so it's going to become 4x minus 2x then plus 4y minus 4y and of course 4x minus 2x gives us 2x then 4y minus 4y gives us 0 so the answer here is 2x this marks the end of this video up next is more of this i urge you to stay tuned in for more videos please remember to subscribe this is Arnold Rangakuramia on behalf of Kisembo Academy.